So I've been contemplating on when to release this video for a really long time. And if you're hearing this right now, then I finally decided to do it. So today I'm going to tell you guys the strip club story. But before I do, and you're going to hate me for this, I made a new YouTube channel. It's called Black Screen Media TV. It's the shittiest idea in the entire world, but I think it might just be so shitty that it might actually work. So check out the link in the description. And if there is one, an annotation on the screen, you guys might actually like it. Okay. All right. I'm done selling out now. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So this story happened in Las Vegas, just like a lot of my stories have. Because Las Vegas is a very interesting place where a lot of very interesting things happen. And this happened with my homo he heterosexual male friend. There we go. I got it right that time. My heterosexual male friend. My roommate, actually. And <clears throat> we were in the mood for celebrating for no reason. Because guess what? We were in Las Vegas and every fucking night you're in the mood for celebrating when you're in Las Vegas. So that's what we were going to do. We were going to go celebrate. And we didn't know exactly how we were going to celebrate, but we just decided to have a few drinks, right? But we didn't want to just have a few drinks. We wanted to make a game of it because it's just boring to just drink normally. You know, who the fuck wants to do that? You always want to make some kind of drinking game or some kind of challenge or something like that. So that's exactly what we did. Um, and he proposed that I make a challenge. And because I'm such a big fan of playing cards and card games and anything that has to do with cards... I proposed that we take a deck of random playing cards, just a deck of cards, shuffle it up, randomize it, and draw cards. If a black card comes off the top of my deck, my roommate has to take a drink. If a red card comes off the top of the deck, then I have to take a drink, right? Well, I'm really fucking unlucky. So all the cards that come off the top of the deck are, of course, red. And I have to end up taking a million shots where my roommate only has to take, like, a couple, maybe two or three. So he's pretty sober. I'm starting to get pretty drunk, right? So we decide to do what a lot of drunk people do in Las Vegas, and that's to gamble. What a wonderful idea that might be, right? Wrong. It's a terrible idea. We both end up losing thousands of dollars. I think I end up losing about $1,200 out of the $1,500 that I have in my wallet, which is actually a good thing. So I only have $300 more that I could possibly lose. And my roommate loses about $700 out of the $1,000 that he has in his wallet. So we both have about 300 bucks left over. Um, at this point, my roommate has now had a few more drinks. I've had a few more drinks. I'm like drunk, but I'm not super drunk yet. But I also haven't had my drinks catch up to me. Because I've been drinking a lot, but they haven't really quite caught up to me yet. And my roommate is kind of just like tipsy drunk-ish, right? So we both just lost a lot of money. We're both pretty pissed. We both have a little bit of money left over. And in Las Vegas, $300 is considered a little bit, not a lot. So we decide to hit up the strip club. And at this point, my memory is starting to kind of go a little bit sour-ish. Because I think I've had about 20 to 25 drinks at this point. And we walk in, and it's just loud, and it doesn't smell very good, and I just, like, start sweating a lot and getting, like, I just get this, like, really uncomfortable feeling, and I'm just like, ugh, I really don't want to be here right now. I really, really would rather just gamble away the rest of my money. So my uh, roommate is less drunk than I am. He's, like, telling me that I should you know, do stuff and spend the rest of my money and like, you know, do strip club related things. And I'm kind of like, nah, you know, I really, I'm, you know, I'm drunk. I'm like, my head is spinning and I still haven't had my drinks catch up to me. I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck, what are we doing here? Like, why are we in a strip club? That's kind of like how I'm right, how I am at that point. And, uh, I'm not the only one there that's like really drunk. This wasn't a very nice place or anything like that. So my roommate finally ends up encouraging me to get a certain type of dance that I won't mention from a girl. And the entire time I'm so drunk that if you're really drunk, your eyes just can't focus on anything. They just like, they just like want to move around a lot and not focus on anything. So I'm not even like looking at her. I'm just like looking at the ceiling and I'm like, my eyes are just spinning and my head is just spinning around and I'm just like... I can't enjoy anything. I'm just so out of it and so drunk and it's just a disaster. And then all of a sudden I just get this really, really, really bad feeling in my stomach. And in the middle, I'm just like, I have to go. And, um, 
she gets a bit offended, I feel like. I can't really quite tell because obviously the poor young girl was just doing her job. But I go to the bathroom and I just start vomiting. And I just feel absolutely horrible. And I'm in the strip club, I'm in the bathroom, and I'm vomiting. That's about as low as you can go, guys. It really is. And uh, I look at my wallet, <clears throat> and there's no money left. I'm like, what the fuck happened? How did I spend $300? And uh, my roommate's like, uh, I don't know. I don't remember spending $300. I don't remember anything. I don't fucking know. A lot of things might have happened that night that I don't really remember. All I remember was the vomit. I remember the dissatisfied dance. Um, yeah, it was a pretty, pretty disastrous night. We somehow actually managed to get back to the apartment and I pass out for like two days. But, uh, it was, <laughs> oh God, it was such a, <laughs> oh, it's such an embarrassing fucking horrible night. That's so awkward. All right. That's an awkward story. I feel awkward now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, feel free to leave a like. Feel free to leave a thumbs up. Again, feel free to check out my other channel, Black Screen Media TV. There will be a link in the information in the description and maybe possibly on the screen as well. And uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe to this channel as well. Leave a comment. And if we can reach three likes, then I will invite each and every single one of you to a strip club. So thanks again, guys. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all later. Peace.